Hey guys, Cool Magic's back from room 204 Barker. Yay! Uh, okay, we're just exhausted from doing the latest video, so. Yeah, this was continue. made right after part two. Yeah, totally. So, and so she's okay. clearly set up nine cards. Okay. Yeah, clearly set up. Yes. Okay, Lane. Well, I'll go for a walk down the hall, and you pick up one of the cards and show it to the that fans. hall. Yeah, that, that hall. Okay, you do it. I'm clearly not. Good. Lane's ready. So the viewers know it, the card, but it's the same one in the deck, right? What deck is it in, Lane? Point what so the mean? viewers can see. What do you mean, deck? Like, what row? Horizontal or vertical? Vertical. Okay, it is in this row. I honestly don't know what card it is. Okay. okay. Now what row? Now it's in this row again. Seriously, dude. This trick is easier when you overlap the cards. Okay, now what row? It's in this one now. M A G I C. Was this your card? Yay! Cool magic! Yay! And I have no clue how this is done. So, Lane, you're going to show them how it's done. Uh, I honestly don't know either. Okay. It's I just a coincidence, people. Okay. It's just uh, a coincidence. I can show you. You put three in a row, okay? Then you put three. I honestly rows thought up. you were doing it wrong because you were picking up the same order of the regular row, but in different order. Okay, guys. Are you ready? So let's say I chose. Do you want to know? Yeah, sure. Of course. Seven of clubs. Okay. So I'll, I'll stack these up. Okay. The, the row that you choose is in always goes second. Yes. That's sure. Then you do it again. Then do you again. then you put it down again. Okay. Then now what row is it in? Of course this row because yeah, I know. One, one. So you pick it up seconds again. Like always. And then again for the third time. time this is your last time doing it. My least favorite part about talking is when people complete your sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's in this row. So then I'll go boom, 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 boom. I'll flip it upside down, face down, and, and I'll you spell, want to spell magic. magic. And on the C, you the flip, last flip. card M M A G I. And on C, you flip over the card. Boom. Bam. Cool magic. Ooh. Totally cool. And I believe Lane there is there is also Do you have a magic trick? Yeah, there is also another version of this. It's longer. You can put seven rows of three. And then at the end you spell Abracadabra. Oh. Abracadabra. Okay. With the last A. And remember, always recycle. Yeah. Okay. So Kendall. Pick a card, any card. Okay, can I show the audience? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Be my guest. Now put it on top. Is this a card? No, it's <laughs> MLG magic. So I'll put it in the middle. And then I will find it. This is a full deck. Not like what Kendall did in part one. I almost said last time. Is this your card? How did you know? So okay, so people oozing with so, magical love. But you have and curiosity. 
So what you gotta do? Why are you up there? Why are you down there? <laughs> so, so what you wanna do is catch a glimpse of the bottom card, which is, in this case, a two of diamonds. So then when you pick a card, let's say an example of this one, which is the nine of diamonds. Nine of hearts? Nine of hearts. So then when you put it on top, then when you put it on top, you still know the key card, which is a two of diamonds. Two of diamonds, yes. So the two of diamonds, your key card is right beside your, the spectator's card. So when you find it, first you find the one, first you find the one with, first you find the two of diamonds, and then right above it will be the chosen card. Cool magic. Cool magic. And remember, always recycle. Yeah.